title I remember <laughs> was that I think it was Matthew's kindergarten per performance or something at the end of the year. And I wore long dresses on you to, to mm -hmm. just to hide so people wouldn't stare. And I had you on my lap and I was um, bouncing you around because uh -huh. you were uncomfortable. Uh -huh. And the lady beside me went into an absolute panic. She thought sure that your leg was caught under you and she couldn't <laughs> find it. <laughs> and I had to gently tell her, it's okay, not. she doesn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. That's funny. Or you used to say, I people used to tickle my fake foot. Oh, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> they would go up and tickle your... And, and you would just stare at them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Matt would always make jokes. Remember, we were at the ocean the one time, and you had your fake leg <laughs> running out of the ocean saying, shark attack, shark attack. <laughs> but yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. Um, okay, so what was it like putting me into, like, public school? Was that, did you think about, like, did any, like, scenarios come up where you're like, I wasn't expecting this, or this is how we do this, or you just kind of went with it as it came? I don't remember anything. I guess you, you, you went to the teachers and stuff, and obviously they knew what was going on. Yeah, I had to always walk this balance of being reasonably protective and not restricting you so I remember in elementary school they wanted to know what restrictions you needed for phys ed class mm -hmm. and I said she will define that for herself and they weren't real happy with me about that but I wasn't going to limit you unnecessarily so mm -hmm. um, but will you say something else? Uh, the other thing was I did feel protective for the other children. They were always kind, but children stare, mm -hmm. and I didn't want you going through that. So when we had your first swimming class, yeah, I would go in and I would mm -hmm. take other prosthetics, so we would pass them around the class, and I would explain that Amy looks really different than you, mm -hmm. and when she comes out of the locker room, you're gonna wanna stare. It'll be uncomfortable for everybody, but that's just how it is, and we'll get mm -hmm. used to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember when you did that. So, I would say, let's see here. What was, well, what advice would you give to other parents who might have maybe not a missing leg or something similar? You know, what would you tell them? Keep moving, you know, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you just gotta keep, keep moving. Mm -hmm. Do I get to talk about Jesus at all? <laughs> you can, I mean, you can well, be Well, obviously, that, that was, a, you know, one of the main things that got us through, our, our trust in the Lord and yeah. relying on Jesus one step at one day at a time. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you know, if you don't, you don't have a relationship with Jesus, it makes all the difference. Yeah. So that was a big thing for, for us. You know, we knew the Lord was going to help us and take us through everything. So mm -hmm. that helped us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you? Find help. Mm. I, I, if there's one thing I would redo or do differently is I would have found other children mm. for you to get to know. I would have forced you to um, interact with people that didn't have limbs because you were very resistant to that. I was. I was very stubborn. Yeah. <laughs> you, you just didn't want to be different. You wanted to fit in like everybody else. And yeah. that was actually good. Yeah. That's their determination coming through. But I think you might have benefited from knowing people that were more like you. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, the verse that comes to my mind when I talk about keep walking <clears throat> is that in Psalms 23, you, you know, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Mm -hmm. The key word there is walk. Keep keep walking. Don't, don't, don't stop. stop. Yeah. 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 So what would you say? We're almost done here. What was one of the most, well, we kind of answered this, but would you say was like a difficult part of having specifically like a baby or a child with one leg? And I couldn't, I guess I couldn't, you know, toddler around as much. So maybe that made it easier, but, um, but was one of, like something, I guess that people probably wouldn't think of like, oh yeah, that would change things. 
you probably know this better than I do because you were <coughs> you were home with the kids the whole time. I don't know. One of the the biggest differences was I couldn't put cloth diapers on you. I had oh, used yeah. cloth diapers and they just fell off. Yeah. So paper we went with. <laughs> And another cute thing is when you finally did get your first prosthetic, mm -hmm. um, you weren't a year old yet, and you would fall asleep stand. It looked <laughs> like you were sleeping and you were standing. You were actually sitting in it with your head on the couch, but you would fall asleep <laughs> like that. <laughs> Just like sleeping. I, I kind of remember that, actually, because I did that for a while. Uh -huh. I was a kid. Yeah. It's funny. Is there anything else that you wanted to say? I don't think so. Just, we're still trusting the Lord. I, I, even at the age of thirty-one, <laughs> and, uh, I would um, just always encourage parents to fight the urge to be overprotective. You do have to be reasonable, but you really do have to fight that urge to be overprotective. Yeah, siblings helped with that. Having three yes, older siblings, having three older siblings. I would have been much worse. <laughs> yeah, you did beautifully. I'd like to think I turned out okay. I think so. Okay. You're stellar. Well, well thanks. Sure. Bye. Bye. Perfect.